Probation officers supervise more than 3,200 youth released into the community after serving time in custody. The youth are placed in supervision units according to their offense and risk to the community. Gang supervision officers supervise some of the most dangerous and violent probationers who've turned to the streets. It all starts at home, and if you lose it at the home, then these kids go to the streets, and they go to their peers, and they start you know, doing criminal acts, and then once they're in the system, and once they get in the gang units, it's very difficult for them to get out of it. Gang officers are trained for high-risk situations. They perform unannounced searches of the offender's person and property, looking for weapons, drugs, or any other paraphernalia restricted by the court. If a violation is found, the probationer is arrested. Supervising gang members is becoming an increasingly large task, with more than 5,500 documented gang members in San Diego County. Almost every single day you'll see something that has to do with uh, some kind of gang violence has happened, all the way from San Ysidro at the border all the way up to Oceanside, North County, and everywhere in between. Gang problems are happening every day. Gang membership gets bigger and bigger every day. Another intensive supervision unit was started in 1992 to address pregnant substance abusers. Medical treatments can exceed $400,000 for each positive tox baby born. Probation officers in the Teen Watch program randomly drug test each probationer six times per month throughout pregnancy and until the baby is six months old. We have to ensure for a fact that these girls aren't using drugs. I mean, you're looking at the health and welfare, not only of the minor, but of another life. At the very least, we can offer this infant a fresh start into this world. Officers also make sure the youth are attending court-mandated parenting classes, drug counseling, doctor appointments, and school. The program has proved highly successful, with a 99% success rate since the program began. The success reflects the approach. We have zero tolerance in this unit, and like any other unit, we absolutely do not tolerate any type of alcohol use or substance abuse. If these girls test positive even one time for alcohol or drugs, we automatically arrest them. We don't care if we find out at 4.30 in the afternoon, 6 a.m. in the morning. It's an automatic arrest, no questions asked. 